everyone, you're listening to Radio Nine with your hostess with the most is Nine. And today with me, I got Young Cell. So what's up? What's popping? How you feeling? What's going on, man? It's a good day in the Bay. Nice and warm outside, you know. Mm-hmm. So where are you from? I'm from Oakland, California. Okay. East Oakland Seminary, to be oh. exact. Oh, I was going to ask that. Okay, you got your already. Okay. Yeah. So, how old are you? 22. Just made 22 in January. Oh, that's a blessing. Especially yeah. in Oakland. Oh, yeah. Most mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. So, what do you do? Like, I'm an artist. I mean, I don't really consider myself an artist. I consider myself more of a musician. Because mm-hmm. I'm a hands-on everything. Like, engineering, rapping, oh. writing lyrics. Oh. I play the piano, play drums. So, okay. I'm hands-on pretty much okay. anything. So, so you like a... Uh, I don't know what type of horse it is. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a... It's not a uh, I don't know. A shit. workhorse. A yeah, workhorse. a workhorse. There we go. Because I was like, um, wait. Uh, yeah. So, um, how long have you been doing this music? Like, do you have a musical background? Like, has your family yeah. done it or something? Yeah. Um, I mean, actually, one of my uncles, I found out not too long ago, he played for the Whispers. He played bass for the Whispers. What? Yeah, so. So, I mean, it's just a family thing. Exactly. <laughs> I've been, I've been playing, always been interested in music, so. I started playing drums when I was five, oh. and then I got more into the keys and everything mm-hmm. as far as rapping when I was like 15. And then I didn't really take rapping serious at first. I was like, nah, this ain't <laughs> me. I was taking it as a joke because like mm-hmm. if I go, people always go back and listen to my old music. They was right. like, oh, you was, you was playing <laughs> games. And I'm like, man, look. That was back then. Listen to me now, cause yeah. I I didn't think I didn't think people was gonna take me serious. And then people oh. started listening. They was like, "Oh, okay, you actually got a sound amongst yourself." So then I just furthered myself and got into it more. Okay, so do you think that you missed the opportunity by not taking it seriously then? Yeah, for surely I did. Dang, for surely you could have been did. big already. For sure, I could have, but playing around and mm-hmm. see I was in high school too so oh, I was yeah, you want to finish 15 I'm like man I don't, I'm, <laughs> nah I'm mm-hmm. cool so what was you doing in high school then high school um sports okay. football mm-hmm. baseball anything I can get my hands on really and then I was in church too so oh gospel game okay. <laughs> yeah. you was in the gospel raps or something or? Not, I mean not really uh, who really had a big influence on my on my music was my dad cause he always had me around some type of musical oh. instrument or I was always around the mic so when I actually got the chance to get on it, my partner shout out to my partner Eliza mm-hmm. EJ he uh he one of the people who really got me started cause we was recording off uh, a Pro Tools um uh what's called that? Reason? No, Pro Tools. It oh. was a Pro Tools. First, I started off on Audacity. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Audacity. Too. <laughs> That's an original. Mm-hmm. But then I was on Pro Tools, and it was a free trial. So we oh. keep getting free trials, free trials, free what? trials. What? Yeah. What? What? We was we was finessing. <laughs> we was finessing the game. We was finessing the game. Uh-huh. Yeah, we was finessing the game. So. Mm-hmm. We got started on that, and that's how I really got started with me rapping and everything. But okay. After that, now I'm on Persona, so I don't really use uh, uh, Pro Tools like that. Uh, Everybody else uses Pro Tools. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so you different. Yeah. So you still use Audacity, or what do you use? Uh, I use, uh, it's a, it's called Persona Studio One. It's more advanced. Uh, I've actually found out about this through uh, Michael Jackson, one of Michael Jackson's producers. Like, okay. he uses it. It's a real big mm-hmm. studio things so, mm-hmm. yeah so like you've been in an actual studio like where you yeah okay like yeah. this way kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. sort of kind of yeah because yeah. i was gonna say i mean you know most people do it at home now because yeah. like you know studio time and everything right so what studio you go to I mean, right now, my brother has his own studio, mm-hmm. basically in a van, but everything is, <laughs> is legit. We call it Trap Van uh-huh. Studios. Trap Van Studios. Trap Van Studios. Trap Van okay. Studios. It sounds funny, <laughs> but the quality of music comes out so good. It's like, man, you can't deny it. Right, I listen to some of the, your, your music probably. You appreciate know. it. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. So, uh, how did you build, like, you know, your fan base and how do you want to increase it? Um, basically just going out on the streets. I always felt like the music was for the people. I'm not one of those people to hold back my music from everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, people would get, start doing music and be like, oh, I'm going to charge this, that, and the third. You got to invest into yourself right. before you can try to do all that. That's the game. Exactly. Right. So I, I started off going out. My first mixtape, it was called, uh, The Turn Up. The Turn Up. I, uh, matter of fact, I dropped it on July 4th. 
2013, I think. Oh, that July. was like five years ago now. Exactly. <laughs> July 4th, 2013. Uh, we went to uh, San Francisco, Go went to the pier, me and my partner EJ, and we mm -hmm. was passing CDs out. Okay. Free. That's how yeah. I all got started, really building my fan base. And then from there, I just kept on doing it and found right. out about First Fridays and everything. Ooh. From there, just started giving out CDs. And people was like, this is how you really do it. Because you, you know, mm -hmm. it's not too many people out here really doing it like that no right. more. Because people be like, oh, I want money for this. And I exactly. put time into it. But you, like I said, you got to invest into yourself. You can't. Dude, you can't right. you can't get progression out of something if you don't really invest into yourself. And exactly, that's, that's why I don't charge when people ask me for interviews because it's like you know I gotta build my name. Exactly. Up. So it's just like yeah, but you know how you know you see my radio nine exactly. post concert thing, right? I don't I don't even know how I found it. I'm like man, <laughs> hold up. Maybe you follow someone who follows me. Probably, so, yeah. and then I seen it. I'm like okay, okay, she seemed legit, and I watched a couple of interviews. I'm yeah. like okay, oh, let me. You yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I support, I support everybody. Like I said, it's it's, it's bigger than music, so you gotta support people because you never know where people might get. You. One day you could be like this, but then the next you could be on one hundred six. Exactly. Yeah, you never know. Because some people, you know, they still sleep on me, not responding DMs. It's cool because you know it's whatever. I even started emailing people, but you know people don't really right, right. They don't legit, but it's like you know I can't really do nothing with me just being sixteen trying to like right, right. Get out, you know. Right. So yeah, but you know we all gotta build our names out there, or whatever. So, um, do you think you reach your full potential as in rapping skills, or do you think you need more improvement? Um, as a full potential now, yeah, I actually do, cause like at the. I just came back home from the military and. Oh, so you was in the so you're better than. I don't, I don't salute, know how to go. Salute, salute, to all the, <laughs> salute to all the vets, man. Salute well, to everybody well, out there protecting and serving. But, okay. yeah, I was in the military. Just came back in June. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, man, I need to really get into some to some music. Like, I've been missing the music. And while I was mm -hmm. in the military, I was writing. Okay. I wrote, like, a full notebook worth of rhymes. And I came back home, and I just I just started doing music. So mm -hmm. after I did my mixtape, it was called uh, Town... B no, it wasn't called Town Bin. I don't know what it was called. <laughs> but I know I did a mixtape. Mm -hmm. And I um, I had uh, paid to do a Jay Stallion show after that. Mm -hmm. And people was like, man, you got you to gotta sound like... That wasn't <laughs> even my first show. But they was like, you got the sound. You got the wave. And Jay Stallion mm -hmm. like, man, you, you really got it, bro. Like, yeah. just keep progressing and keep doing you bro don't let the haters really trip off what you're doing but right. just keep pushing because you really got a sound i'm like man, man. From, from somebody that's <laughs> that's a legend that i consider a legend from the bay right that's that's that's, that's a big move though. like a legend reached out to you you know yeah most definitely right so what do you write about then like um i'm all around it, it all depends i could be i could be on some motivational i could be oh, on okay. some turn up i could mm -hmm. be on some you feel me? I you might. Know, it's the Oakland, you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> Oakland. It's Oakland. I always had that you know? Oakland vibe. So right. it's like I can be on any any topic on, at any time. But I really been on some more turn up type style because, right. like, I I was born in a hyphy movie, you know, right. 0, 0, 04, 0, Ooh, 06. So okay, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm turned up still. Wait, so. talk about the hyphy movement. So with this young T.O. thing, you do you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking. Like so, I said, how do you feel about that? Like, the hyphy movement ain't gonna never die. No disrespect right. to him but you feel me you could be here today you can be gone tomorrow i don't exactly. i don't really remember the last time he actually had a real hit no disrespect <laughs> and he didn't even start the hype move that's, a, that's the exactly thing. and he said he created the new bay wave so i i really can't speak i can i can't really speak on that i don't know who started the new bay wave right. if you want to be real about it i am sue started the new bay exactly, wave exactly because he when he, like back in what 2012, 2012 right. that's where the new bass sound came mm -hmm. from but it was still on some hyphy type and right. if you want to really be real about it people have always been rapping over fast beats like awesome. shout out to right. D-Lo and shout out to uh, uh, DB everybody been rapping over the fast beats right. you're not one of the first people to do it you're not one of the first people to sing over a beat it's talking right. about you exactly. shooting and doing this and doing that right. people been doing that but shout out to <laughs> I mean keep doing it keep pushing right. Brad, like Keek said, you could be you and had your fifteen minutes of fame, oh. Brad. I can't I can't speak I can't speak for everybody. Right. And also chill youngins, they was 
popping. Yeah, true. So much left. I mean, we're not talking about Oprah. We're just talking about the whole thing. Right, the whole left, layer and period. Right, left the Pharaoh came out before them. I think I'm pretty sure. Right, first class was before. If you know, right, was first class. class. They was before them. A lot they, of people, yeah. like I said, a lot of people them been here before and been doing the same thing. It was just y'all time and y'all caught the wave. You can't say you created the new bass right. sound because. You never know who watching. They like, bro. You might create, you might create this sound that you came up off of, but you ain't never created the the new Bay Wave. The new yeah. Bay Wave that been came up exactly. since. You feel me? And it's still the hyphy movement, cause right. you get on stage, people <laughs> shaking dreads. You feel right. Me? So it's like you can't necessarily say you created the new Bay exactly. Wave. Exactly. Like I was just like, ah. Oh. No, and then yeah. like he tried to make apology. I saw that also, and then like people was like, "What?" And then he, when he said, "Vallejo's the hardest bay," I'm sorry to all my Vallejo watchers, but no, <laughs> Oakland is the hardest of bay. Oakland for sure the harder bay. So you know. Like o- the, Oakland, San Francisco, exactly. for sure the harder bay. Richmond too. Rich Richmond for sure. Shout yeah. out Richmond. For but sure. Vallejo, I mean no. And like I was watching. Do you know all that digital? Have you ever watched? Yep. I, I, yeah. So it was like what Bay Area says, and he got a dude from Vallejo. They were saying some things that I never even heard of. I was yeah. like, what? What nah. is this? And then like <laughs> and then like that whole movement. Like that's like that's what I'm saying. 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 Like that's what I'm and they said, uh, Fairfield, Fairfield really get out there. I'm like, Fairfield? I ain't uh, never. <laughs> I got cousins that live in Fairfield. Right. I, don't, I don't hear nothing about Fairfield. Right. So it's kind of like, Fairfield's like I, I don't know what's going on out there, but they need to get it right. I mean, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm sorry right. if I'm stepping on toes, but hey, check this out, man. Right. I don't know what going The last real thing that really... I, I think why they say Vallejo is the heart of the bay because Mac Dre E-40. and, and E Forty came out of there, mm-hmm. like some major big names came out of there. Right. But that necessarily don't make it the heart right. of the, the bay. bay. And got, it was mostly out in Oakland anyway. Exactly. So. Exactly. You got Too Short. Right. You got uh, Drew Down. I mean, that's just to name a few people. And Tupac was coming down here. Tupac. Right. So if you really want to <laughs> say the heart, then you got San Francisco. You got to consider right. them. And yeah. if you want to go there, you got to go to Richmond. You got to yeah. consider Rich. It's a couple of people. So Before you, you go to Vallejo, like, Vallejo's like the place where you go for six legs, okay? Exactly. Like, <laughs> I, go to, I, I come out there for the amusement parks, man. Like, right. come on, man. And I don't even I don't even get on rides out there. I don't come out there to talk to the girls, so you know. Oh! Oh, oh, <laughs> they at home. They hey, hey, got to now, man. Uh, especially there at Fright Fest. That's oh, yeah, most definitely. Everyone be at. There wasn't a fight this year either. Usually there is. Yeah, they, yeah. It, nobody ain't really going there no more. You know where a lot of people went? They went to Great America. America this year. Yep. I see some videos on that. I was just like, dang. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to yo, you know, your profession, you know. So you say you produce, so you like. You don't work with other producers, like producers don't send you beats or whatever? Um, and, The only real producer I, I really work with is my big bro. His name, T.O.T. Mm-hmm. I call him T.O.T., but his name is mm-hmm. Two on Tom. Okay. He run the bay. Um, mm-hmm. He the one that really got me into the beat making and trying to do my own swag. Okay. But I really like working, getting beats from other producers. Cause mm-hmm. I like my sound, but I like to hear other producers' sound. And right. if I like it and I get into it, I'm like, okay, let me let me write to this <laughs> and see what come right. out of it. So. Yeah. Who have you worked with uh, big so far, like in producing or in rapping? Um, rapping, I'm like I said, I'm just really starting on my producing. Mm-hmm. But rapping wise, I worked with Jay Stallion twice. Ooh. Nap the Pharaoh. Yeah, I saw that on your Instagram. I was like, oh, you worked with Nap. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That was. So a... I'm gonna come down here. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a big show. That was right. a big show. Mm-hmm. But the crowd was like, like iffy. So. Oh, uh, they was just like. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, it kind of made me want to stop music at one point, but I'm like, yeah. And I, I, I keep telling everybody this is my last year of rapping, but everybody don't believe me because I said it before. And I'm like, this is my, this is gonna be my last time really rapping. But I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know, cause people, like I said, people like my music. People love the mm-hmm. wave I got. I got, I come with a lot of raw energy. Like, right. You don't really get that raw energy on stage, and I'm by myself. 
Exactly. Like I'm a solo artist, so when I jump on stage, I'm a rock and right. get the crowd moving. And once I get them moving, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Right, right, right. I might do a backflip. <laughs> you never know oh, what's gonna come out of it. Gymnastics or something. Man, yeah. nah, I ain't do no gymnastics. I just, I just try to do stuff to get a crowd a better outlook on life. And you yeah. feel me? People like to get turned up. People like to see that high feet on stage. Exactly. That people, most people get on stage talking about money and. Turn. God, yeah. Man, man. I mean, I talk about that, bro. But <laughs> if you gonna do it, get turned up with it. I mean, throw a couple hundred dollars in the crowd or something, man. Mind you, I will pick that up and be like, something, something a dollar, a dollar or two. No, something, I, I heard the one hundred. Like I said, no, nobody ain't really got that raw energy unless mm-hmm. they really in a group, and you gotta, you gotta live off the energy of the right. group. I'm living off energy by myself, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, but like, if you quit music, what you gonna do? Like, what's your backup plan? Um. I, I'm I'm probably gonna stick to producing. I got a couple people that I want to work with, like people like I got a guy I went to high school with. He said okay. he really trying to get in uh get into music. So I'm mm-hmm. probably gonna start building my own label. I already uh-huh. have my own label. It's called Town Business LLC. Mm-hmm. So I already have my own. I just want to bring some artists under and bring it all together. All right. So you got like a building that you trying to buy or studios or whatever? Um, I'm looking at it right mm-hmm. now, but as far as it goes, should you get better money? I mean, <laughs> I don't know how that works, but should you be getting that like better money or something? Yeah, but the Man, way that you politics, your money. politics, I do, mm-hmm. but it's like right now, you know. Oh, with Donald Trump in office. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. Politics. I mean, were you what? Wait. So you got into the military when? I got into the military about a year ago. Oh, so you was doing it while? The, well, before he became president. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, okay. Before. So when he became president, he was just like, ah, oh, I gotta quit now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wait, so it was like that. So you, so you just like. It wasn't. It wasn't necessarily like that. I had got sick because of mm-hmm. where I was at. It was. It was hot and humid. Oh. And I didn't really. You didn't buy, but exactly, it, and I caught a as I caught a bad asthma attack, and oh. it was like my muscle enzymes was breaking down, and I'm not drinking enough water. So I mean, you should be drinking water, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> still. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry about that. So, um, well, mm, this is gonna be a So, what makes you different from other Bay Area artists? And I don't think you should stop music yet because you don't know where you're going to go off right right and that's my thing like I said I really don't think I'm going to stop because I I bring a lot of raw energy like I'm not scared to go outside like a lot of artists be like oh I'm I'm not going to this I'm going Mm -hmm. I'm not going to that I'm everywhere like if people see me in the street what's up young (laughs) self I go everywhere Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not with 30 30 excuse me niggas I don't I don't hang I don't have a gun on me I'm not told no gun Mm -hmm. I'm not like that you feel me I'm by myself one with one like one other person like Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not out here to floss or be stunting on nobody like that I'm I'm out here trying to have fun I'm trying to vibe with people I'm trying Mm -hmm. to build a fan base like I said, I'm I'm really out here. I'm for the people. I'm for the streets. Right. That's how I'm always be. I'm never changed for that. Okay. So with your music, right? Like you know how politics is going on and everything. And then, you know, you know, <laughs> this is my favorite month. It's Black History Month. Oh yeah, Black you, History Month. You know month. our people. You feel me? So like, are you gonna do anything to support? I mean, most rappers say no on this show because it's like you're gonna have a lot of people with listen to that and blah 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 blah. blah. But I mean, do you want to do anything? Yeah, for sure. For Black History Month, and you know, it's Jack History Month too. Cause What's that? Oh, yo, you Jack, you know who the Jack is, right? Nope. You don't know who the Jack is? <laughs> no. Well, he a Bay Area artist. Uh, oh. I think he's from Vallejo, Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. in that general area. Mm-hmm. He uh got killed. I think oh. it was today about a couple years ago mm-hmm. yeah so it's jack history month so okay. they doing a whole lot of stuff with him and mm-hmm. then at one point i was gonna do a song with him but oh, what? i was i was in college at the time and i was gonna do a song with him mm-hmm. and then when i was getting ready to do the song with him my uncle was hooking it up with, and everything i heard uh i looked on my phone on instagram because i was mm-hmm. getting ready to come back home from right. school uh, and it said Jacka got killed. I'm like, nah, this ain't true. So I'm calling everybody. Yeah. I'm like, man, did this really happen? He like, yeah, bro. I'm like, we're on 94th. And I'm like, wow. Ah. And you was gonna work with him? Man, it's a cold world. That's yeah. why I say, man, you gotta, 
you gotta work with people while they're here, man. You gotta try to vibe and mm-hmm. get to know people and, and you know, market yourself while they're here, man, because you never know what could happen. You could be here today and gone tomorrow. Exactly, man. That's oh, that's one of my worries, man. When I be like interviewing people or like, you know, or like even my friends, I just be like, dang, I hope y'all make it safe. Love y'all, you feel me? Like I was, right, right. I just tell people I love them so they just know. Right. You know. So, um, you know, with rapping and producing and building your own brand, do you want to be, I mean, I know you're building your own brand, but do you want to be under a label? And if so, which one? Or you don't know? Nah, I'm I'm going to stay independent. Why be independent when you could, like, be under the label? Like, let's say, um, um what's, what's Dr. J's one? Uh, shoot. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> Aftermath? Mm-hmm. Um, I necessarily don't want to be under that because, like, like I, like I said again, it's a lot of politics, mm-hmm. and politics come money, and Ooh, you're right. you sign to it. Most artists now is signed to the three sixty deals, and the three sixty deal basically is mm-hmm. they're giving you your money up front. So when it comes down to the time your album drop, you mm-hmm. don't get none of that money. Only only real money you get is from show from. From basically uh, mm-hmm. shows and mm-hmm. promotion when you go to the pop up shops and stuff like that. Oh, so yeah, it's it's good that you know your business side. Yeah, though. yeah, mm-hmm. I, I I do a lot of research. That's mm-hmm. why a lot of artists like like Tupac. If you if you seen the movie and yeah, then he couldn't get he couldn't get out of his deal mm-hmm. basically because For that's sure. what he was in. Right. He was in a 360 deal, and he was tied in, and there there really wasn't no real way for him to get out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. I, I can't sign to no deal. Man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh-huh. I'm sorry. All the all the record label, but I will sign to a distribution deal. So if What's y'all a distri- basically you <laughs> basically a distribution deal, you they sell your CDs for you. Oh, okay. So I'm getting all my money. Mm-hmm. Y'all only get a percentage of the money. Okay. But I'm sorry to all the labels. If Damn. y'all want, if y'all want young sell, but I will shout out to Filthy. I might, I might actually Filthy. sign the FOD. Okay. I might, okay. actually, I might actually sign the FOD. So do you just want to stay in the Bay, or do you want to? You know, go out. No, I want to branch. I want to branch out. I, I eventually want to try to do a couple shows in Vegas. I want to go to my Miami. Miami. That's mm-hmm. that's my next big thing. It's this thing called uh, Coast to Coast. Mm-hmm. They got a thing where um, you do one song, you perform one song in front mm-hmm. of a couple A and R's, and you get to um, if you if they pick you to move on, you mm-hmm. get to move on and go to the next city. So the next city is like L A. You keep moving the city to city, oh. and you uh. You get to the end, it's like Miami, and you win fifty thousand dollars or whatever, and then you get to you get to record a song with one of the A and R's. Oh, okay. So, um, who do you want to work with? Like, as, as, not as like, would that ask that who you want to work with was rapping? Nope. No. Um, I love even though even though the politics right now with S O B R V, I love to work with them. Mm-hmm. Um, Kendrick. Oh yeah, they on the Kendrick album too. The one that's coming out. Really? Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Okay, I see y'all getting up there with Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I love to work with Kendrick. Um, mm-hmm. Who else? Uh, I want to work with Ty Dolla Sign. Oh okay. Drake. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, you heard God's plan? Yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's top song right now. Yeah. Huh? Come on Can now. Man, that's the that's the slap. That's the slap right now. Drake, uh, who else? Wayne, Lil Wayne. That's one of my big influences too, Lil Wayne. He I grew up in that era. Uh who else? Um Dr. Drake, just on the producer standpoint. Um kind of No, he don't rap no more. He did come out with an album not too long ago during the uh when uh the NWA movie came oh. out. Yeah, he did come out with an mm-hmm. album. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know who this is, but it's a guy named Anderson Pack. He he's like a singer. He cool. Oh, okay. You wanna work with some singers too? Okay. Yeah, I, I I like to work with everybody, so I'm an all around guy. That's just the name of few though. Okay, okay. Got your few set up plans and goals. So like besides wanting the like what do you want out of this business like let's say you make it big do you want the fame do you want the money just just the the, girls i don't know just having a name out here in in the streets like Mm -hmm. you know it is more than money and and fame and glory Mm -hmm. and being tied in to certain things like 
you you are always having you are always be able to get money in. Mm-hmm. But I want I want my name to be remembered. I want people to be able to say, okay, that's Young Cell. Young Cell was out mm-hmm. here really putting in work, doing shows and right. rocking it from city to city, and mm-hmm. nobody was really hating on him because that that's almost like how Mac Dre was. Mac Dre was really a good ass artist. Mm-hmm. He he he, was. he had hella music. He had too hard for the radio. Mm-hmm. He had this this and t. But you, you feel me? Right. It's always that one person that's gonna hate on you because you mm-hmm. on top of your pinnacle and they want to knock you off. So right. I mean, just just having a name out mm-hmm. here and people realizing you you good and you tied into the right. streets and everything. So. Right. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing nothing right. right. If so. you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so what are you gonna do when let's say you get all this money that comes along with the fame? Like what you gonna do? You gonna save it up and build more or become an entrepreneur? Um, just, just build my empire. Like I said, I already got the name of what I want my label and everything to be. Like I've already started creating shirts. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So you started to do a clothing yeah, brand? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try um, to do I try to do it all. Um I already started creating shirts. I eventually want to get a billboard out here when I drop my next album. Oh yeah. so you know people to do billboards and stuff? I mean it's not necessarily that. You can basically go on the internet and be like how much is a billboard and they'll oh. pull up different <laughs> billboards. Yeah, because I was about to say, um, let me create a billboard <laughs> for me because um, <laughs> But they actually pretty expensive though. I think yeah. it's like I think like for a paper one it's like five hundred a month or something like that. A month? Yeah. Oh no, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean it's legit if you actually got a good purpose behind it. Like like for me, like how I'm doing music, you get a couple of billboards around the city, you feel mm-hmm. me five hundred a month. That's actually legit, and then people seeing you out here, good advertisement. Okay, advertising your brand, I feel it. Yeah. So what's your brand called? Basically, town business. Town mm-hmm. business. Town business. Town oh, business. that's the name. That's the reason for the name. Everything. Your Instagram. Okay, that's yeah. Is town it. business. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, is that his real artist name? Nah, nah. All right, but all right. Town business is still alive, people. <laughs> I just, I just want to let y'all know that town business uh-huh. is still alive. So you know, um, back to your writing or whatever. So you know, usually every rapper for their writing or producer of music, like they usually have a struggle. So what's yours? Or you don't have one, like... You know. I really don't, like I said. Yes, be honest about it. I like it. I like it. I really okay. don't. I get in the lab. I hear a beat. Mm-hmm. I write to... It literally takes me no longer than 10, 15 minutes to write a verse. Okay. It, it, I feel like that should be any artist, any artist's goal. You should... It shouldn't take you the long, no longer than 10, 15 minutes to write a verse, let alone write a song. Okay. I can write a song in almost 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. And get in, do the song, do the verses, be mixing it, and it's going to take me an hour to get one song knocked out. What? That's like, that's fast. Yeah. Most people take a full on day, but. Nah, I don't, I don't play around when I get in the lab. <laughs> When I'm in my lab mode, I'm in there, I'm doing what I got to do, I'm focused, I don't let nobody. I, Put my phone on airplane mode. And oh. If you want to get to me, you might see me on live and <laughs> tap in. Mm-hmm. But other than that, nah, man, I'm I'm out here trying to work and get it in. Okay, okay. But also, there's another struggle, like growing up and stuff. Did you have a struggle or anything to inspire um, you to keep Yeah, going? I was I was kind of in between houses. So like, my oh. mom and my dad was mm-hmm. never really together. So okay. I was separated from them. And, mm-hmm. you know, going to my mom's house, it was a little bit different. She was a little bit more strict. But yeah, when that's, I get to, that's every black mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I get to my dad's house, it's like, it's laid back. I got I got yeah. everything I that's want. Black I dad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's it's a little different everywhere. And, mm-hmm. you know. Right, right. And another question, I mean, this for the ladies over there. You, you know, you single? Or you take it? Or... Nah, I, I got a girl. Oh! I, I, okay. Yeah, I can't. I okay. can't. Shout out to her. We actually got a baby on the way. So, oh, yeah. a little girl. That's so cute. Oh, a little girl. She's going to be a daddy's girl. Oh, that's what I keep telling my girlfriend, but she don't believe me. So. <laughs> How long y'all been together? We've been together for a couple months now. So four months. Okay, that's cute. 
you think you gonna, you think that's wifey? You think you gonna propose to her? Mm, for sure, she might be. She <laughs> she she look out for me. She makes sure I'm good and everything. She okay. she makes sure the music like she she one of the main reasons now why I probably she keep telling me like you don't need to quit music like you need to quit keep rapping and doing you like <laughs> you got the sound like a lot. She keep telling me like a lot of artists she see can't rap. <laughs> so, yeah. like, literally, a lot of guys can't rap. You mm-hmm. hear it, and it's like, okay, your beat slap. But that's most rappers today, so it's okay. Like, yeah, like, you know? do you have any lyrics? Do you have <laughs> anything that's gonna treat intrigue me and get me out my car, get me out my seat? Like, right. oh, he just said that. <laughs> Like like when Drake said, uh-huh. she said, do you love me? I tell her only partly, I only love my bed and my mama. I'm, so, I'm like, oh, Drake, why, why you come at him like that, Drake? Drake. Uh-uh, you were too juicy. Man, hey, you got to intrigue me. I got I to gotta, I gotta have something that's going to get me out of my seat and make right. me really want to listen to you. Like, yeah. when I heard that, I'm like, it got to be an album coming. And then he dropped two songs. Man. Exactly. Then it disappointed me. I'm like, ah, man, I got I to gotta right. sit back and wait and see what he going to do. Okay, so, you know, you're trying to get another one where you just dropped two ones, then disappeared, then boom. Album. Exactly, exactly. I'm trying to get on Drake level, man. If you ain't trying to get on Drake level, man, man. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-mm. So, but back to you and your girl, so y'all, met, how did y'all meet? Like, um, we met through my sister, basically. Oh. My sister had called me up on Facetime mm-hmm. and she was doing hair, so I'm like, uh, I'm like, who you with? She like, she uh, so her friend grabbed the phone, mm-hmm. basically my girl. Mm-hmm. And she started talking, and we we talked for a long time, and we uh, we so sta- y'all connected, okay? Yeah, we stayed up talking till like four in the morning that day, so. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, your sister phone? No. <laughs> no, not on her phone. My sister had left. I, she, oh. We had started talking on her phone. If I was on my sister phone, my sister mm-hmm. probably would have cussed me out. <laughs> she stayed all the way in Richmond. My girl mm-hmm. stayed, stayed out here in Oakland. So. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Every, rappers be afraid to say they got girl. Right. I'm not afraid to say that. Speak your mind, right. man. You are an artist, mm-hmm. man. Do, do you think you would cheat? Because most rappers do, especially in this industry or whatever. No, because when you got something good, you better hold on to hey, it, boy. Hey, hallelujah, there we go. <laughs> you oh, better, my God. You better, okay. hold, you better hold right. on to it because I'm right. selling to the streets, man. I can't. Man. Nah, nah. Okay, okay. I see you. You know, feeling the song. So, you know, let's do a game because, you know. So let's do it again. <laughs> it's called um if you ever listen to the Dream Team and the Boy Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. They do battle of the sexes or whatever. So okay. I have a question. Do you think men cheat more, females cheat more? Mm, <laughs> and who's better at it? That's a good one. I would have to say females cheat more. Ha! Wait, okay, we go to debate. Go ahead. Girl girls <laughs> girls are investigators. They like to investigate okay. things. Let's see. Us as, excuse me, us as men don't really like to put all the work into investigating. So girls gonna investigate and do they work, and while she think, while she say, oh yeah, you cheating, she gonna be out doing her dirt. So you never know. That's why I got my fingerprint on my girl phone. Hey. Uh-uh. Yeah, they, y'all better put y'all faces and y'all fingerprint on y'all uh, girl phone, so you man. Got the location too, I got location no, to everything. I'm you're no, too protective. Not too protective. You know, you you just gotta be like okay. I said, solid to the streets. Honestly, though, I think I cheat more because, like, even though we'll find out sooner or later, you still have done it. Like, yeah. and you guys don't have feelings with us. Most of likely, we leave mentally before we leave physically. So we're so, leaving. For like, I don't know, you don't satisfy us or whatever. So we're gonna leave and go find that or whatever. Right, right. So we're just better at it, but I don't think we cheat more. Y'all for sure cheat. How do we want? How do we cheat more? Because Cause it might not be with a guy, it might be with a girl too. Oh, you right, you right. So you okay? You never know. Yeah, because you know, like you said, you know, you could do that. But wouldn't most guys like that, or would you break up with your girl because she cheated on you with another girl? I mean, no, it would be something. It would be. Be something we really have to talk about. Oh, we like so. If you really in love with her, then I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you be in love. I'm gonna I'm leave. I ain't gonna stick around for the situation. Right? You just be like, well, yeah. um, okay. Y'all do what y'all do. Actually, I got an ex girlfriend like that. She she oh. kind of she, she she was both. Yeah, she was both, mm-hmm. but she kind of went to the flip side. Shout out to her. I ain't <laughs> that, but uh-huh. shout out to her. Okay, okay. <laughs> you look at this, I'm like, 
<laughs> okay, who's more messy, like as in not cleaning girls or guys? Because mm. you have a whole sister too, so. I have to say, I have to say dudes are more messy. Yes! Cause just because, just just because I got a father and I see how he get out. My dad's a hoarder. But <laughs> okay. Pops, I had to rat you out, man. But mm-hmm. yeah, and my uh, dudes are more messy. And then my girl stay on me about cleaning up my room and keeping it neat and making up my bed. Why don't y'all like to clean up? Like, because I, I mean, I clean up. <laughs> I wash, I wash clothes, wash dishes uh-huh. and stuff like that. But I really. I really feel there's no need to make up my bed unless I'm changing my sheets and stuff. Uh, if I get up in the morning, I'm gonna just get up out the bed and go. <laughs> no, I'm coming back to the bed. bed. I'm, a, I'm 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 coming back to the bed later on anyway, so I just can hop up in it. That's honestly true because we make up the, up the you bed. make up the bed for no reason. <laughs> you make you making up the bed for no reason. The only thing that stays perfect is your is your bed skirt. Other than that. <laughs> The bed, the bed gets messed up overnight uh-uh. while you sleep. Your sheet might be coming off. All oh, yeah. that. So, hey. No. Uh. Uh-uh. So, um, how do you feel when, um, well, so you know how guys go up, right? Right. How they got now. So does can girls have their girl night or you just? Oh yeah, my I'm going to first Friday tonight. My girl oh, going out tonight, tonight too. It is. Yeah, my girl going out tonight mm-hmm. too. So. Okay, yeah. so you know, you tr- so trust is who who has more trust, girls or guys? Or I say I say it it depends on a relationship because mm-hmm. you never know what somebody may be feeling at the end of the day. They might right. be like. Oh, I can trust you, but on a certain level, because I know some stuff about you. Or, you know, it all depends. Right. So now we're gonna get back to the music. You know. Oh, so, <laughs> so, um, do you think you do people compare you to other artists in the rap game, or like? I've been compared to Tupac and Mac Dre a lot. Really? If you watch, like, if you go on my Instagram and mm-hmm. watch my videos of me performing, people be like, "You got a Tupac and Mac Dre vibe. Like, you, okay. you got a lot of raw energy and talent. Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't get on the stage just to rap. I'm trying to give you a show, a full on show. Right. I don't want to, I don't want to be up there. Oh yeah, this young cell man. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna come and perform my song. I'm up here high. I'm drunk. Right. I ain't had no water today. I ain't been sleep. <laughs> I ain't been sleep since December 2017. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm gonna get up there and do my thing. Mm-hmm. So you would go up there and do your thing. So the crowd goes with your vibes, right? Pretty much. So you do it first night, so you performing tonight, or? I'm just going out there to hang out, man. See what's oh, out there. Got you. Okay. I mean, I've been to first Friday once, and it was cool, but it ended too early. Well, when I went, it was, like it ended at like. How long ago did you go? This is like this. Last year, so, so probably sometime last year. last year. Yeah, sometimes they be tripping and like. Yeah, like they were shutting it. Like me and my friend went because we were trying to see what all the hype is about. Because I, you know, I'm from Oakland, you know. Right, you know, right, I right. Been the first Friday ever because I got protected parents. So right, right. Yeah. That's how it goes. And it just smelled nothing about weed. But, um, yeah, yeah, we smoke and drink. And that, I mean, that's what First Friday is all about. Mm-hmm. You get out, you can vibe. Like I said, I really ain't seen too much fighting at a There's First really Friday. There's really no fighting. I ain't never really seen a fight at a First Friday event. Mm-hmm. I done seen a couple arguments, but no real fighting. It, yeah. It's everybody out there vibing. I mean, right. if you want to fight, bro, you, you need to take that to the boxing <laughs> ring or something. Right. Because... This this ain't the play, Pete. You can't even say take it to the street because it is in the street. I'm saying the boxing ring. Right. Yeah, you can't say take it to the street. Yeah. You better, better put them gloves on, man, and shake it out <laughs> after like a man. Right. So if you have to give, like, let's say you have to give a tour guide through Oakland, right? So what would be the places that you would take them? Or what events you would take them to? To give them the Oakland vibe, you know? Um, well, first off, just me being me, I'll take them to the hoagie shop and get them a hoagie Ooh, from Mills. Shout out to Mills Hoagie yeah, Shop, man. Mills is that, good. That, that's the spot. And then I'd probably, um, 
I'll probably bring them down here to downtown and see the downtown Oakland mm. vibe, see what it's all about. Take them to Lake Merritt. Okay. Cool little spot down there. Oh, that's really good. Um, take them to the Dope Era spot, oh, man. Okay, shout, okay. Out, shout out Mr. Fab, man, in the Dope Era spot, man. Right. Putting on for the bay. Right. I mean, I could probably meet him, too, because one of, like, people here know him. Right, so right. Little man, little you need to get Fab on the show, man. Yes, bring him I'm in. I'm trying to get him in. Bring him in. Right. Shout out Mr. Fab, man. Mm -hmm. We see you, Peppa. Doing, doing big things for the Bay, man, as far as, as community mm -hmm. community resources, all that. Not just the dope era story. He putting on for everything right. going on in the Bay. Mm -hmm. So that's what you I would take them to, you know, first Friday. And then I would sure. take them to, um, what's that taco truck? It's in East Oakland. On 55th? Yes. <sighs> I'll take them there. Man, you know, that, that taco get truck do be smacking, yes. though. Yes, I got to take them over there. And then, yeah, like where right. Fruitville made me the show, like, where Austin and Grant got Right, it. right, right. And then, yeah, that's about it, I think. Like, Oakland's cool, but if you live in the Bay Area for... As long as I right, live, right. You get bored of it, you know? Right, right. I, I didn't live in the Bay all my life, so right. that's like... It's not too much out here what? no more, man. Right. And I stay in the city, so the city the city feels small to me. People are like the city is big. I'm like the city ain't big. Yeah, especially non-California people. Like exactly. they be like, oh my god, we in San Francisco. I'm like, it's not all that as it seems. Like nah, you it, know? it really ain't. Like the Bay Area is not all that. I mean, it's cool. Like we started the hypey movement, you know, but it's just yeah. Like, but you almost the hypey movement. You gotta. You gotta, you got a rare form to see that. Like, you got to right. catch a side show or you got to go exactly. to a club. You got to go to the club on a <laughs> right night. So, it, right. it all depends. Yeah, that's how I was just like, I mean, very cool. But for me, when I go off to college and stuff, I'm going to do, like, you know, Atlanta. For sure, yeah. for sure. For sure. It's hyphy out there, too. Yeah. It's hyphy out there. I've never been out there. I mean, I've seen a lot of I've big been, area people go to Atlanta. I've been to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> It's smacking in the airport. So uh -oh. Atlanta, y'all y'all got my vote as one of the top cities in the US ever. Mm -hmm. Besides the Bay. The Bay, <laughs> right. the Bay go crazy. The Bay. But yeah, most people go to Atlanta after the Bay Area. They be like, oh, it's time to go to Atlanta. Atlanta or Vegas? Yeah, Vegas. Atlanta and Vegas. I mean, somewhat New York, but New York, I don't know how it is. Like, yeah. I don't, know. I, I don't like that cold weather. So <laughs> Vegas or Atlanta, it, it, that's where I'm at, man. Right. That's where you're going to catch me at because I don't like the cold. I right. Don't. Duh. See, we're so used to this California weather where it's like, like cold to us is like 50 degrees. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, Vegas, they be like, oh, it's like 32 two degrees. Warm like, is two like, degrees below. Right. And warm, is, warm is like 39. I'm exactly. cool. Exactly. I'm like, nah. With all them rats and all them people, yeah. I can't. Like, too, too congested. And they say the bay too congested. It's, it's real congested out there. Oh, uh, man. But it's not really. I mean, they try to kick out all the black people. Like, Man, gentr really gentrification is real, people. Right. If y'all don't know about it, look it up, study it. It's right. real. It's really going on. Exactly. Man. And we got to come together as one, as black and brown people, to, exactly. to knock that out, man, because they really right. trying to take over. The and they're bay, trying to period. keep us in poverty, you know? That too. So, and even with, you know, as far as rappers like you or whatever or producers or people in music like all the government things about it's all white people want to oh well black people have to catch yourself want to just do entertain right entertain sports that's it and it's just like no like some of us want to be doctors lawyers right, right. and not a lot of people are doing what I, especially at this age and the bay are doing what i'm doing it's like oh yeah they'd be like oh i know the better slip whatever i'm like what about Radio 9? What about Radio 9, man? Shout out Radio 9. The best radio show right yes. now, man. Yes. Hey, if y'all ain't tapped into Radio 9, man, y'all better get on it, man. Exactly. I'm telling y'all, this is a legend right here, man. Y'all gonna be trying to get on Radio 9 when she make it to 106. I don't want to hear that, man. I'm gonna be like, I've been on Radio 9, man. Radio 9 was popping way back in 2018, 17, all that, man. Oh, exactly. Like... You know, and my views, you know, they popping a little bit, not all that, you know. But you know, I'm just trying to get my name out 
there, me and my friends are trying to get in sure, this business sure. together, you know? You gotta have but, everybody who come in here, you gotta have them get that good shout out, man. Exactly. I'm, I'm for sure giving a good shout out because yes, this yes. this actually one of my first official real radio shows. Yes, shout out, shout out to me. Shout out to shout out to Radio Nine, man. Yes. Cause uh, I'm gonna remember this when I get on 106 KMEL. They yes. be like, so you and Sal, what was one of your first radio <laughs> show, man? Shout out to Radio Nine, man. <laughs> See a real one. Y'all need to get her up here in the yes. studio, man, and quit catting off, man. Exactly. I don't know why people sleep on us, like. Why, why they sleep you? They sleep on independent people. If you ain't really big like mm-hmm. that and you ain't got a big name like that, they want to sleep on you and exactly. hold you back and don't really want to be, be around you like that. So it's kind of like... So what do you think that you could do to get big? Do you think you need to know the right people or do you need to like... I mean, now, I mean, I'm not saying I would do it, but mm-hmm. a lot of people now, they selling out. What do you it, mean? Everybody want to be a sellout. It, it, they, um, they want money. Yeah. Everybody want money. Everybody <laughs> want to be a baller. Everybody want to have a chain. Mm-hmm. Everybody want a car. Exactly. I can't sell out just because me coming from where I come from and the mm-hmm. way way I was raised, money ain't everything. You can right. always get money. Exactly. If, if if music stop, if I lose my voice, you can always go get a job right. and make money. Exactly. It, it'll never be. It's always enough money to go around. There's never mm-hmm. enough talent to go around. Oh, say that again. Oh, that was so Spoken word right there. So if you had to give advice for people like us right now, you know, just kind of started out really trying to get our name out there, what would it be? And how do you think they should break big or Like, let's say you looking back at this, like you already big, but what's some advice you can give? I mean, basically just... Keep pushing, keep grinding, man. The grind don't stop. Like I remember, I I, I didn't know where, where or how I was gonna get a show. I found a booking company and they oh. they believed in me and I I just kept pushing and grinding and shows right. show after show. I just kept getting it. So okay. I believe and grind and pray and <laughs> hey, right. it all come together, man. Mm-hmm. And a lot of and a lot of self promotion. I don't care if you get on people's <laughs> nerves. You right. can post Radio Nine on the air right now, exactly. twenty four times a day. And they'll get annoyed, but they'll still tune. They go, they gonna tune in eventually. Right. They gonna be like, okay, this this a hot and popping artist coming out right, right. now. So yeah, exactly. Because you know, I, you know, with the Radio Nine concert, whatever. It's supposed to get my name out there. I'm just worried when I get people to perform that no one will come out because I'm just like. See, Man. I was going to do my own show. Mm-hmm. And what my dad told me was, if you're going to do your own concert, you get you a headliner. That's what my people told me. Was you like, get you yeah. a headliner. You get you somebody like Nap the Barrel or Too mm-hmm. Short. Anybody. And you have them come out, do three or four songs. You you know, whatever's in your budget. And you feel me? You have them do them songs. And yeah. you do your lineup of people. And... Hey, it's all right. I'm gonna try to get Mr. Fab to perform. Oh, there, there it go, man. Mr. Fab, hey, Mr. Fab, man. Tap in with Radio Nine, man. Yes, Looking, yes. tap in, man. Right, and I need to save all my dollars because. You know, gotta buy the venue. Cause I'm trying to use that next door building. And if you see it, you'll probably see it walk so. out. It's like a wave thing, and it's their other building that they're gonna be right, using. Right, right. And I want to use it. It's a couple little venues out here, and like I said, I right. work with you. So you feel I me? Mean? I'm, I'm all, I'm all with working with the people and okay. showing love and making sure everything mm-hmm. happens. Yes. Yeah. So that was all today with yourself. Yeah, for sure. And with me, Radio Nine. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, Radio Night underscore. What's your Instagram so they know? Man, follow me on Instagram, Town Business Young Sale. For the people who don't know how to spell it, because I didn't have people, <laughs> I didn't have people see me on the street and be like, man, I couldn't find you on Instagram. This <laughs> thing. It's T O W N B I Z N E S S Y U N G C E L. Town Business. Why young is your sale. name so long? Because <laughs> it's Town Business Young Sale, man. I'm from the town. I represent Oakland. Okay. Okay, so that was it, and to it, that's it. You went to the time, someday you knew, they gave me high like you do, listen to my heart.